In a recent podcast with Dr. Jake Fantas, a top urologist and infertility expert, he estimated that over half of adult aged males had tried some sort of testosterone or androgen supplement. For example, SARMs, prohormones from GNC, clomiphen, which is testosterone replacement, clomiphen is, HCG, etc. And uh, in a recent discussion with um, you know, multiple experts, including Jim Lavelle, he estimated that somewhere around a third to half of Americans have tried some sort of GLP-1, you know, a single shot of compounded semaglutide from their med spa, a sample of Munjaro from their endocrinologist, and it wasn't covered by insurance. But we have gotten so much pushback that when we agree with those numbers, they're ridiculous, even though the experts on, you know, peptides and GLP-1s and testosterone, the people that are literally helping the FDA make guidelines for TRT clinics are saying this. So why are there people so vocal that are yelling and saying, you guys have no idea what you're talking about. Those numbers are, are ridiculous. Um, why does everyone hide this other than ego? Well, I think you'll really like my answer here. It's quite simple. They're in the 50%. <laughs> There are people in both halves of this that are quite upset. There's people that are taking TRT and want to keep it a secret. They don't want everyone else to know that TRT is a thing. They kind of want to keep it in their advantage bucket. And then there are people who are sort of naive, not aware of these things that are going on. And they, you know, they want to think that they don't want to think that anyone is taking these sort of things. Like there's no way that this many people are opting for, uh, in many cases, you know, it's elective medical intervention mm -hmm. um, that's not necessary or life-saving acutely. Sure, chronically, I suppose you could argue that these are life-saving medications. And then there are people who are sort of prescribing these things in a you know, telemedicine GLP-1 clinic. And uh, they would say that even higher percentages of people have taken these because that's all they see all day long. So I suppose everyone has their own little bias as to what number they think is reasonable or what number they want you to think is reasonable.